Hi, this is Hong Shu from MotionCircles.com. Today I'll be teaching you how to achieve this animation in After Effects. I've attached the working file in the description. Feel free to download it and follow along. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Now I'm inside After Effects. We got three layers here, one background and two text layer. First, we need to add in a fractal noise effect. Let's go to layer new, solid, call this one fractal noise. And then let's go to effects and presets panel. Let's search for fractal noise. Drop this one on the top. In the effects control panel, let's change the noise type to block. And then we can pull up the contrast, maybe 250. Then go into transform, we can uncheck the uniform scaling, make sure the width is all the way up to 1000. So we have this horizontal glitch effect here. Let's change the height to 60. In order to have it animated, we need to go down to the evolution value here and then let's add in a simple expression. Hold down option and click on the stopwatch. Let's add in time times 500. Now we have this fractal noise effect animating. It just keeps changing the evolution value, so it's animating. That is good. And the next thing we need to do is let's go to select the two text layers, Command Shift C to pre-compose it, call it text. Let's hide the fractal noise with clicking on this I button and go to effects and presets panel. We need a effects called displacement map. Double click on the displacement map to add it on the text layer. Let's go into the map layer and select this fractal noise as the displacement map. Go to the source, change it to effects and mass. Now you can see our text is already distorted. What displacement map does is it's using the color value from this fractal noise layer to distort the text layer. So since our fractal noise layer is animated, it's using all these color values to distort the text layer. And you can see the text layer is almost glitched out and it's animated. If I drag this horizontal displace, you can see our text is totally distorted, glitched out. That's the effects we're trying to get. Go to zero second, let's add in the keyframe on the horizontal displace, change it to 600. And then go forward 10 frames, let's change it to maybe 30. And then go forward 10 frames again, let's change it to two. Drag the last two keyframes closer. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good. And then go around two seconds. When the two text changes, I want to hide this cut using the displacement. Let's add a keyframe right before the cut. Command C to copy it and then paste it in right after the cut. So during the cut, I want to change the displace to 600. So this is the animation we got. That looks good. Around the end, I also want the displacement to go around 600 at the end. To preview, this is the full animation we have. Next, I want to add a bit more variation. Let's copy the fractal noise layer, Command C, and then go inside the text layer. Paste it in. Let's turn on the fractal noise and then click on this preserve underlying transparency mode. Now the fractal noise layer is only showing up whenever my text layer is visible. So it's not visible outside of the text layer, meaning if I turn on the transparency grid, everywhere that's transparent, it's not gonna be visible for the fractal noise. That's why it's right now overlaying on top of my text. And this is effect we want to have, hit T for the opacity, let's change it to 50%. If I play this, you can see there's a bit texture within my text layer. Let's go back to the main composition. Now I want to add a glitched background in my composition. Duplicate this text layer, Command D. Now let's add in a colorama effect to our new text layer. Let's make sure our colorama effect is on top of the displacement map. Right now, the colorama effect is using the color on my 
text layer, meaning the white and light gray, to generate color based on this spectrum here. So we're not seeing all the other colors right now. If I turn on this effect, we're not seeing any of the yellow or the green color on the text layer because it doesn't have the dark black originally on my text layer. In order to get the full spectrum of colors on this text, I need to use a different layer as a map. Since we already have this fractal noise here with a full color spectrum from white to black, we can use this one at the map. So let's go to add face, use the fractal noise as a map. And then if I turn this eye icon off, you can see now we got the full spectrum of the color on my text layer. However, I still wanna change the color a little bit more. Let's go to add a hue and saturation. Let's modify this to make it look closer to the background. I like this pink and purple combination here. And then the next thing I want to do is to blow the text layer up. So it's um, going to be much bigger and use the horizontal displace. Make sure we don't have any keyframe here. Let's animate it again to make it as a background. So basically I want to use the horizontal displace and the vertical displace to occupy the background. Change the size to maybe 350 by 400. Yep. And then change the horizontal displace to 400 change the vertical displays to 500. We're basically blowing up the text layer. So it's taking up the background as the background glitch. You're probably thinking this is a bit too much, but bear with me. I now need to add a new effect called simple choker. And then I want to use this choker mat to control the background glitches. Essentially, if I turn up the value of the choker mat, you can see a lot of the glitch disappears. And that's how we want to control the glitches of the background. Essentially, when the glitch settles around here, I want to click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. I want this value to be around five. And then around the center here, where it's the wildest, I want this value to be around two. And from the start, I want the value to be around maybe 10 to completely wipe out the whole glitches at the beginning. So I don't want any glitches at the beginning. And then they start to come in. When the text settles, it's gonna be around five. So it's not so crazy. Let's change it to one over here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's copy all the three keyframes, Command C, and then go to around two seconds, paste it in to align with these keyframes here. And around the end here, I also want it to disappear. Now you can see this is the animation we got. We have the background glitches. Now we can work on this main text here. First of all, let's add in a glow effect. Just give it a little bit of glow. And then I also want to give it a tint. Drop it on top of the background glitches. Let's map the black to the cyan color. I map the white to white. Let's see what it looks like. The next thing I want to do is duplicate this text layer, Command D. And then you can see the glow is too much. Let's turn off the glow on the new text layer. And then let's, let's offset the first layer by a couple frames. 
Another thing I can do for this new text on the very top, I want to map everything to white. And then the original text layer, I want to map everything to this cyan color. Something like that. Let's see what it looks like. The good thing about this one is you can change the text to whatever text you want. And you can also add in your own logo within this composition. And then from the outside, it's going to show a glitch effect automated on your logo. There you have it. This is our glitch effects animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We will be publishing more After Effects tutorials like this every single week. In addition, we also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.